Welcome back. This is the Gamma Jack. Today we got Gunslinger Desolation Suicidal. Sometimes. Safety's off. Cold? I'm sometimes. I go to Reddit. Sometimes I go to Reddit. Sometimes I go to Reddit. And I'll find a sub. I'll find a subreddit of some sort that's, uh. funny. You know? Interesting. But the, 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 you know, the, the, the minimum line of the, the sub is, is pretty, pretty low. And then the maximum line of the sub is, is pretty high. You know, so there's a lot of variance and, and the majority of the content is trash. Um, and then, and then, like, some of it is really, really just, like, the greatest stuff of all time. And, uh, I'll go to slash top and look for like you know top content in the past like six months or a year or whatever how however long it's been since i was last there and then I'll, I'll browse through that instead of looking through like hot or new or some garbage like that because it'll just not be very fun um anyway what i was looking at today was uh r slash are the straights okay which, if you guys haven't checked it out, like, you, you should go go look at like the top posts on it. It's 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 like um, r slash insane people Facebook, but um, the insane people are it, it's it's always related to sexuality in some some way, sexuality, gender, you know, something like that. And my my favorite kind of. Uh, of post on it is the uh, the abundance of uh, of like boomer media where uh, where where they'll have like a wedding cake or something and it'll be the uh, the the wife the the bride you know dragging the groom over with with. Uh, with with like handcuffs or something like that on on top of the cake and then the caption is always something like you know when when uh like i just don't get heteros or whatever you know like it, it it's i th i think it's the, the funniest stuff in the in the world sometimes but that that's that's my favorite one because it it always, it, it always happens right if people are always like you know you're getting married oh well you know Good luck, you just signed your life away, ha 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 ha. And, uh, I'm always like, what? Why are you marrying people you ain't, you ain't liking, though? Why are you, why are you doing that? Uh, and then there's also sometimes people will be like, um, all like, like arguments and stuff, too. Arguments. It's a big one. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll talk like, you know, you, you have your favorite arguments or whatever that you have all the time. Like, I don't know, if you're arguing with your significant other that much, maybe you should reevaluate your position. Um, but anyway, that's what I was reading this morning. I got a good chuckle out of that. I got a good chuckle out of that. I like that one. I like uh, Insane People Facebook is another good one. Um, that's another good one for sure. But that was that was what I was reading today. There's um, there's a lot of good subs out there, but but the the, the issue with with something like uh, you know, are the straights okay? Is the like minimum line for comedy there is pretty low, and like if you go to like r slash hot or something, it's uh, it's oftentimes a lot of just stuff from like I just I don't get it. I don't I don't get why this is comedy. Oh, another one is the like needless gendering of stuff that just doesn't need to be gendered. Like, there's this picture of um, of of like two hands holding a, a baton for like a track and field race or something, and one of the hands has nail polish on it, and then one of the hands has like a tie on it, and it's like, all right. You know, we've we've got the we've got the girl hand solved. How do you how do we know which one's the boy hand though? 
because we can't see the nails on it. So you put a tie on it. Now you got your now you got your male and your female hands, as though either of those things indicate anything with regards to your gender at all. Um, and then there's another one where it's like the two baths, and then they have the like stupid RGBs in them. So there's like they're like right next to each other, so that you can have two people sitting in it and you're not using the same water. Uh, and then one of them has pink RGBs and one of them has blue RGBs, and just, I just don't. Uh, there's pink Kinder surprises too. Oh, and then, and then there's so many stories like anecdotes and stuff about uh, people who have talked to insane straight people. And, uh, and, and the insane, like, cis, straight, hetero, like, idiots. Not not that all straight people are idiots, but, you know, when when, when you have the two crossing over, it makes for some, some good humor sometimes. Um, but, but stories of, uh, of, of, like, just idiots who, uh, are like, no, you can't have... You know, you can't have the pink one because the pink one's for girls. You have to have the blue one and the the son is like, But I wanted the pink one and the parents are like, No, you can't you can't have the pink one because you're a boy and boys aren't allowed pink. You're not allowed to cry either and I'm just uh I love I love listening to it because it's like a major problem. I love I love, I love reading it because it's a major problem and kinda like contributing to a lot of sexism and and uh, issues in the world, and uh, it's like harming a lot of men's personal uh, like self-confidence and stuff. But it's it's put in like a humorous way, and mocking it, so it's funny. I mean the the people who are like, you know, you can't have pink because you're a guy, you can't cry because you're a guy or whatever. That's that's extremely harmful to like people. Um. Because you can cry if you're a guy, this is a giant and you can wear pink awesome. if you're a guy. Uh, but there's so much, there's so much, and it's so good. You can't, you can't read. I don't, I don't like reading like hot on it because it's just, it's not, it's not as, it's not as good. It's not as good. It's not as good. Hold up. Uh, this is related to. Curious. That's related to the uh, the server, which is kind of YouTube stuff, the Minecraft server. Who is this mysterious monster? That's how you want to move. Where's the wall gone? Oh, what's this message about? Oh, it's Oculus. I get all these Oculus notifications now since I downloaded that stupid app. So many. I want to like disable them. I'm gonna have to look through the settings on it. But there's so many, and they're dumb. They're dumb. I hate them. Somebody wants to uh, record my. Well, somebody wants to join the server, but uh, they want to play VR Minecraft on the server. And then uh, the other admin, Cacto, is saying that it wouldn't work. And then me and the other person who are like, I'll do it, but I'm recording VR Minecraft is like, why wouldn't it work? And then Cactus was like, oh, I thought it like literally technically just wouldn't be viable because the server wouldn't support the, the VR mod, but it's apparently just a client mod, so now he gets it. And uh, we probably have another member on the server now, maybe? Perhaps? I do not know. But I wanted to, I wanted to make sure that we're not turning people down because of uh, reasons that just don't make a whole heck of a lot of sense, you know? I want the reasons to be like, no, we don't like you. It's a valid reason, okay? It's, it's it's one that hurts your feelings, but it's a valid reason. We don't like you. Why are we gonna put people on the server that we don't like? Now we'd probably say it a little bit, you know, some something more like, you know, uh, thank you. We've taken a look at your application here. Um, yeah, I just I don't really think that you make a good fit for the server. We we already have enough members. Um, you know, maybe uh, maybe in the future we can we can see about making something work. But just just right now we don't really. It's not really what we're looking for. Thank you though, but you know, sorry. You know, wish you the best of luck. You know, so, something more like that kind of thing. You know, not that we're taking applications anyway, to my knowledge. I don't do that kind of stuff. I'm not the. That's why I don't like doing it. That's why I don't like doing it. You have to be the bad person. and I don't mind being the bad person. 
Okay. I just don't like being the person that has to deal with people complaining about the bad person. <laughs> you know, I will, I will, I got no problem coming out and just telling somebody off that like, no, you're bad. We don't like you. You're not going to be on the server. You're not, you're not allowed. I have no problems with that. The issue is, is when, uh, when they start like being like, well, you're being mean, blah, 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 blah. And I have to like start explaining how, no, we just don't like you. Uh, it's not mean. We just don't like you. Uh, that's that's when it turns into a problem for for me personally. Okay, we're taking the AF. That's okay. It's when it turns into a problem for me and something that I don't enjoy so much. I don't mind being the bad person. I just hate doing the cleanup after you know. I just hate having to clean up after myself. So I've distanced myself from the family relations and I take on a role of. I'm the I'm the tech admin, you know. I'm the tech girl. I'm the tech girl. I do tech stuff. I do got to get the. Uh, I'm working on a couple of uh, projects at the moment, actually. I'm working on a script to count the total number of messages from everybody who's ever messaged anything in the private Discord channel in Rain Meter. I'm working. Uh, it's also going to be. Writing down the total word counts of everybody who's ever said anything in the Discord channel. Um, and, uh, like, server-wide, but limited to people who have spoken in the dis in the, the private Discord channel. So, like, all of the public channels as well. Um, but only logging for people who are actually in the, in the server. And then also have given consent on top of that. Um... But, uh, we're also going to be logging, uh, like, hourly and daily activities. So we can tell, like, okay, you're pretty active Thursdays at, like, 3 p.m., but you're pretty much dead on Fridays, typically, you know, that kind of thing. That's pretty fun, right? That's pretty fun. What was this message? New game. Adventure awaits in a galaxy far, far away in Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. Just don't ever send me a stupid notification again, please, ever. I'm deeply offended by this. Look at all that XP, dude. Survival list is slowing down a little bit, but we're we're getting there. We'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. It'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. It'll ha happen. I swear it to you. Regardless, I mentioned it in the last episode, I've started writing, or I, uh, I mentioned it a couple episodes ago that I've started writing, uh, I mentioned in the last episode that it is now available publicly on Royal Road. You're free to go read it if you'd like, there'll be a description in the link below. Sometimes I say things wrong, it's okay. Will you forgive me? There'll be a link in the description below though if you want to go read it. It's about uh, Shara Ishvalda. Uh, Shara, a, uh, a girl from the 20th century who goes in 21st century rather, uh, who goes and lives in a, in a new world now, and she has problems in stuff's face. Uh, regardless, though, any any hoozle. Um, we got uh, we got new stuff coming up on the uh, all fronts on all fronts. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I like King. I like Killing Floor 2, dude. It's like such a satisfying game to play. You know what I mean? Like, there's just something about the game that ju that just feels good, and I can tell you what it is. I can pinpoint exactly what it is that feels so gosh diggity darn it good about this game. I can pinpoint it for you. Look at that beautiful performance. Think we can nail a grenade on this guy as well? No. Think we can maybe like get a shot through. Nah, it's not gonna work. It's the gun feel. It's the gun feel. That's what it is. It's the guns. The guns feel amazing in this game. The map design is also pretty sick, but it's the guns. I'm not a I'm not a big gun person in real life. I barely even know anything about guns. I know probably more than, um, I know more than, uh, like, 
for sure. I know more than the average person about guns. Maybe not the average American, but I, I definitely know more than the average person. Just due to, um... Like, exposure in, like, Killing Floor 2 and, and other games, which... Killing Floor 2 is a fairly gun-accurate game, to my knowledge. They, uh... They put a heavy focus on making the guns actually real and stuff. For the most part, I mean, I don't know anymore now that they're doing all this, like, HRG kind of crap. And, uh... You know, it's kind of lost, largely. But, um, you know, you get, you get that exposure from it. You know, uh, kind of like some stuff about it, right? You know, you know a little bit about it. Not not enough to be an expert on it, but enough to be mildly informed, we'll say. It's kind of like, uh... Kind of like, um... Something fun is coming. If you ever played RuneScape, you know how to make bronze. Right? You know, you, 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 you at least know the uh, material makeup of bronze. You couldn't go to like a, a smeltery or a, a forger or something and actually like turn the raw metals into bronze. But you, you would understand that they're putting together. Largely tin and copper, and making bronze. If you've uh, played Minecraft, and you've gotten into redstone, you will have a surprisingly decent understanding of how, like, electronics work. Because it's, it's based largely on... Um, the, the same kind of stuff. Now, does that mean that every, you know, redstone, um, you know, fan on in Minecraft is uh, an electrical engineer? No, no, no not, not even the slightest bit. But it does mean that if you put a breadboard and some wires and some gates in front of uh, somebody who is, uh, like, big into redstone, not, not just like, yeah, I made like a... Uh, a too tall, one wide door a couple of times, but like, you know, an actual person who actually does stuff and is using like AND gates and RS NOR latches and all this kind of stuff to actually make something out of it, you know, at that point in time, you know, you, you put somebody in front of a, br a, bread, uh, a breadboard with some basic instructions on what it is, they'll probably be able to make something out of it. They'll probably be able to actually do something with it. They're, they're not going to make, you know, they probably won't end up making a, a functional, you know, CPU or anything out of it, but they could probably make a, a counter, they could probably make a, an RS NOR latch, they could probably make, you know, something, something of that nature, right? Um, which is, uh, cool, right? Because it's just games. It's just, it's just it's just video games, and then they're not even trying to be educational, but you're still learning some basic ideas from it. Again, not enough to, to get a job. Like being an expert in Minecraft isn't enough to get a job as an electrical engineer or something. Like that. Like, not even not even remotely close. Okay, if somebody's taken a you know an electricals course, like an electricals like uh, electrical uh, you know it, like what, I can't remember what the word for it is, but like uh, additional. Um, of course, there's a word for it, it's, uh, elective. You know, in high school, they, they probably know more than you as a, as a, as a amateur redstone, you know, uh, enthusiast. But, if, if they haven't, you, you probably know more than them, just, just because you, you learned a little bit through, uh, through playing video games, which is really, 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 really cool. And the moral of the story here, the point is, you know, that uh, despite not being a, a gun lord, you know, I don't, I'm not an American, um, I know various gun names and, and kind of what they look like and, and sort of how they would operate in a purely mechanical manner anyway, on uh, just, just from playing video games. Anybody who is actually genuinely interested in guns would be more knowledgeable than me. But people who aren't, 
I'm probably more knowledgeable than them, which which isn't to say anything, because you know that's just the choice of the things that you decide to do. But I think it's really cool. And you know what else I think is really cool, or like not so cool, is uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, never has two women talk to each other ever at all at any point in in either the books or the movies two two girls two women never talk to each other ever which is is fascinating terrible disgusting but fascinating and it, uh, learning this fact kind of brought me on to the uh, the Bechdel Pe Bechdel I think that's what it's called the Bechdel test Bechdel which is a test uh, where you have to have at least two women who have names who talk to each other and not about a man. Um, and a surprising number of like movies and shows and books and stuff don't pass this test. They, they just do not have women in the media at all who are talking to each other, not about a man. Even, even, even like... Even, like, you know, women-centric shows and movies and stuff won't pass this quite often. Not more often than not. You know, typically women-centric shows and movies and stuff like that are going to pass this. But not always, which is, like, surprising, right? It's terrible. It's terrible. It really is. Not enough, not enough representation in, uh, in media. That's why, uh, that's why Shara is, uh, is a trans woman. She's trans and bi. It'll come up in the story at some point. It hasn't yet, but uh, it'll, it'll come up eventually. I definitely intend for it's, it's an, it's a, it's an adult. It's not, it's not porn. It's not erotica, you know, but it's an adult novel thing, you know. That flesh pound didn't know what hit Just not porn. Very nice there, there will be. Uh, I'm not sure how much detail I'll go into at some point, because I do want to make it into like, a, like there, there will be some hints of romance or even some full romantic arcs at some point. I'm sure. Uh, in Shara's many faces, which is the story that I am writing, there, there will be some romantic scenes. For sure, there'll be romance in general, and probably sex at some point, because if you put two people who aren't ace together in a relationship, they're gonna have sex. It's just how it works. Maybe not immediately, but if they're together, for, they're, it's gonna happen, okay? Everybody everybody got needs, okay? I don't know how much detail I want to go into when I, when I do get to that point. Because on one hand, when uh, when it's out of character for it to be so such a, a sexual, you know, erotic novel, for the novel to go into the details about the uh, the thing does make it a lot more intimate and a lot more impactful, in my opinion. But on the other hand, it also makes it a lot more erotic, which is. Not necessarily what I'm looking for, but I don't know. Cross that bridge when I get there, you know. Cross that bridge when I get there. It'll happen eventually, right? There will, there will definitely be some sex in the in the, in the novel at the, at some points. I just, for me, I feel I feel like there aren't enough novels out there that portray, at least not in the like isek isekai genre, you know, uh, that display women. Who are actual people and have actual relationships that are actually developed. You know what I mean? Like oftentimes you'll have you'll have you know women leads. The relationships aren't developed. It's just there so that you know they can describe her having sex. Um, or they'll have you know a women a, a woman lead and uh, it's great and all that. But then they never actually like develop a relationship or anything like that. And it's like you know. I get it, 
to a certain extent because you don't want to put the put forth you know push that whole agenda of, of women being you know receptacles so to speak um but at the same time i'm like i don't know she, she's normal she's she's a normal person Norm, normal people generally want relationships you know like being ace especially aromantic is not very common and if you want your character you know your your character is your character you don't have to have a reason for what you're doing but for me anyway i want that representation anyway that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like subscribe to see more in the future comment see you next time oh i didn't get it <laughs>